In this video, we continue sailing up the Sea of Cortez to a remote island fishing village where we pick up some absolutely massive crab. And then we go explore the mangroves on Isla San Jose. Do it. Yeah, I should. Just do it. Okay. Don't, don't weenie out on camera. All right, well then, if I'm on camera, I think I'll just jump. Yeah, How is it? It kind of feels amazing. So today we are headed just seven miles over to Isla Coyotes. There's like an old village there that may or may not be inhabited, but it looked really pretty when we sailed by it earlier. Uh, and then there's a nice beach on Isla San Jose, maybe we'll go to that. So, short day of sailing today, kind of the shortest one we've had, only about seven miles. Uh, it's blowing pretty good out there, so we're probably just going to go on the head sail. Uh, no need to put the main out because it's like 15 to 20 knots out there, so the jib would be just fine. Had enough? Um, no. <laughs> Got a lot of jugs of water when we started this, but there's like nowhere to buy stuff once Anywhere. you're out here. Anywhere. That's the one thing about this, if you're going to sail here, is that you, you need a provision before you leave. Provision a lot. Yeah. Before you leave, like yeah. there's no restaurants, there's no markets. There's one. So, so we're running a little low on water. Yeah, we still have enough to get this for the next few days, I think. Uh, so we have, do have a water desalinator on the boat, but the problem is this is Mexico, and so yeah, the seawater it desalinates that is fine for drinking, but we don't know what was in that tank before, so we don't want to drink it. That water out of the out of the boat. So worst case scenario, we boil that water before we drink it, but. Uh, we uh, we'll be back day after tomorrow. We'll be back uh, in, toward La Paz where we can actually buy stuff. So. Yep. yep. All right. So today we are gonna head over. Y'all about ready? Well, he's still flying the drone. Yeah, you guys yeah. ready? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You ready? I'm ready. There may not be much civilization around, but that's exactly why it's so beautiful. Crew was ready, we pulled up anchor to set sail. The girls were having a bit of a problem getting the anchor to come up the proper way. It on its own. Yeah, it's done. With the anchor up, we motored out of the bay. Step hauled in on the jib sheet to pull out the head sail. The furling drum was a little stiff, so I went on deck to pull out the sail by hand. So we got, how much we got? We got 18, 19 knots of wind. We're doing almost six knots just on the jib alone. So three yard long, motor's off. Here we go. Right nice smooth sailing again, hopefully. Yes, nice smooth sailing, no motion sickness, a lot of rest and relaxation. <laughs> Let's see what those waves do. Yes. The sea conditions weren't too bad, and we were sailing downwind with a following sea. Isla Coyote was not very well protected, but we were only stopping for a few hours. Several families used to live on the island selling trinkets and handmade crafts to passing by cruisers, but now it's pretty much just a fishing village. The 
rough conditions was going to make loading up on the dinghy and heading ashore somewhat difficult. hard part is actually landing this thing. Yeah. I told you you're gonna get wet. Gotcha. Yeah, same. Gracias. Oh my god. That's a giant ass crab. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh. Oh. Wait, grande. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. So they're selling us a crab, uh, and uh, that thing's huge. And uh, they're gonna clean it for us and everything, get it ready for us to cook. Uh, Stephanie says she can cook it. So this used to be like an actual village people live. Now it's turned into a fish camp, but like their whole families lived here. But you know, over the years, people moved away to La Paz and all that. So it's kind of abandoned now, except for the fishermen. But pretty cool little spot though. Check it out. You can see why people want to live here. I mean, it's just a gorgeous view from up here, but it's so isolated, no phone service, none of that. So maybe things will be different when people get started, like maybe they'll move back here and, you know, be able to have some, you know, conversation with the outside world. But beautiful. So we're gonna head over there and anchor behind that nice beach over there. There's a little mangrove, we can take the dinghy in. And uh, we'll be eating crab for dinner. We bought it for, uh, it was 500 pesos for the tube crab, which is like 25 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. All right, now, now's the hard part though. Now it's gonna be wet. Come on, Come on Willa. And of course, the motor picks the perfect time to stop running. Pulled up anchor and left the rough bay behind and headed over to the much calmer protection of Isla San Jose. I made it alone! You Woo. did it! You didn't even need my help. And now I fall in here. Uh, and now for the final event. I had a good teacher. Yeah! What you doing, Steph? I am preparing our crab legs by breaking off, because we don't really have like a, a big pot, like usually you would steam the crab legs and put them in a steamer basket, mm -hmm. but since we don't really have that, I'm going to put them in a, like one to two inches of boiling water, let that steam, but these crab legs, I mean look at the freaking size of these things, so I have to kind of, you can break them up and put them in, which makes it a little bit easier to eat them, but I got to break them, but these mothers are really sharp, so you gotta wear something so you don't... Look at that. Look at this bad boy. Look at this! The girls had a little change of attire and then we loaded up to go explore the mangroves. We gotta find a place to cross. 
across this bar here. I don't know. Could be a snake under there. Could be a crocodile under there. Oh, oh. we'll eat stuff. I mean, it probably says danger. Okay, your Spanish sucks. I'm also reading it upside down. Please respect our zone of like animal refuge or whatever. Oh my oh god, god. Uh, what? Dude, a puffer fish. Oh my god, it was so big. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I remember. Ooh, sorry. Forget that this left is right and right is left. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up. Guys, if you're dreaming about going cruising someday, just set a date and make it happen. Write that date on a note on your refrigerator so you see it every day. And every day, do one thing that gets you closer to your goal. When that date comes, you still won't be ready, but go anyway. Not every day of cruising will be easy. In fact, some days will be quite hard, but that's what makes it so rewarding. the crab legs cooking another five minutes and then I'm gonna test them and see if they're good and then I'm gonna do the rest because we have so much you test it before I try it that's, <laughs> that's, that's the deal Lata you gonna have some no no I made, I made no. Brussels sprouts no 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 I'm gonna have 10 crab legs oh my ten. gosh that's like a whole crab 20 no that literally we have so, like I have a whole extra pot and then the cooler so you can have as much so as you so want. Much. There you go. You and can, I'm gonna make butter make with parsley and oh, garlic, yeah. so you can dip it in. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so good. I mean, it sounds Steph good. Steph is a cooking queen. I learned how to cook for my mom. If you're watching this, mom, thank you. No, yeah, I did. And thank, you. And thank, thank you, mom. We really appreciate it here on Sailing <laughs> Doodles. <laughs> Hungry Doodles. <laughs> are you gonna try one? What are you gonna do here? I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh yes, that broke nice. Okay, these ones are definitely done. Ooh, these are. Ooh. 
Oh, these are gonna be fun to eat. These are gonna be so hard to eat. <laughs> so it's like you just cut it? Yeah, so just cut it where that, yep, like. <laughs> I hope I have more than one pair of scissors. <laughs> these, might, these might break. <laughs> <laughs> like, get the cutting board out and just, like, whack. No? <laughs> Uh, what are we going to whack it with? You. Uh. Alright, so we're using a lime thing. <laughs> oh baby, she's a 10 out of 10. <gasps> yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, thank you. These are going to be hard to eat though, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Very good. You dip in butter though? Mm -hmm. Well, I have my potatoes. <laughs> Life changing. Alright, it's Bryce's turn. Give him a little nibble. Am I meant to be tasting the crab? Yes. You could, you could hear it. I, I can smell it, and honestly, I've, I've smelled better things. So I'm a bit <laughs> like, oh, I know. It's nothing it's against your fresh. cooking, I'm sure. No, no, no. no. It's, amazing. it's because these are fresh. Yeah. So. It's, don't eat the shell. It's got like his on here. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're eating this. So you, you pull the meat off of it and you eat the meat. Oh man. You never had crab before? Don't think so. Wow. But if you dip it in butter though. It's actually okay. I'm surprised. It's, actually okay. <laughs> yeah. it's not bad. It's this right, is yeah. also too like nice. a really small piece. Once you get a meaty piece mm. and you dip it in butter, yeah, yeah. it's like life changing. I'm oh, telling right. you. I'm telling you. <laughs> It's so bizarre. I feel like these scissors aren't designed for this. <laughs> <laughs> Would these help? Oh my god, the heroes yes. coming. Pliers? Oh, oh yes, give me those, give those pliers. Give to me those motherfucking pliers. <laughs> I'm ready to go to Tales right. the Crab now, boy. Can't stop me. <laughs> okay. Ah, there you go. This is the winner. <laughs> right, give me that one. <laughs> How clean are these? For real yeah, clean. Yeah, well, you know. Just a bit of engine oil. Yeah. <laughs> These are the hardest shells. Maybe there's a certain angle. I wonder you if they were on. like laughing at us in Spanish. Like, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> they're like, they're not gonna probably. be able to eat them. They ain't eating this. <laughs> oh my gosh, probably. I mean, let's try to. <laughs> See, that's that's why I don't eat crab. I mean, like, it's just so eat, no, so hard to eat. Like it's just hard to eat. I'd rather get some chicken I'm cooking right now. It's the. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it is the Ooh, claws cool. that are the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good stuff. Juicy. Guys, I am excited to announce I have launched a new channel. It is a science and technology and kind of an information channel, and I'm really excited about it. I've wanted to do one of these for a long time. So the channel is called Good To Go With Bobby, and basically I discuss all things science and technology related and history, and I kind of give you an overview of things. My first episode is out right now. It's about the eye and how the eye ages and the new advancements that are helping us to uh, overcome that. So check it out. There's a link down in the description. At the end of this video, also there's a link to it. And uh, thank you so much. Please head over there and like and subscribe. And uh, thanks, guys.